Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is, 11, is the 11th of October. I would like to read for the last time in this meditation in Proverbs chapter 20, uh, Proverbs 15, verse 24. The way of life winds upward for the wise that he may turn away from hell below. So God has invited us to walk with him in heavenly places. And uh, there are things that are going to uh, prevent us from going forward, from staying upward, walking upward with him. And these things, uh, Peter writing in the, his first letter, chapter 5, verse 7, is going to, to, to give us a very important exhortation, saying, Cast Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So we have to cast, to give Christ our cares. Because they will prevent us from going upward, from walking with him. I have been walking on the, on the St. James's way uh, for four years now. Every, every, every time I walk for a week, um, f- five days, six days, and one thing I learned, even before I started walking, and as I keep on walking, I understand much better that, that the advice I was given in the beginning was the right one. That you cannot take lots of stuff. Like, actually, most of the t-shirts that I use for my meditation, here, they, they are the t-shirts that I use to walk. They're very um, easy to wash and they dry very quick because you don't take loads of them. Even if you walk for a month, you only take three of them normally and you keep on washing them because you cannot take more than 90 kilos. Some, I met a young man who was walking with, with me uh, last year and he took, uh, uh, it was actually May in 2021, he was walking with 38 kilos. And I guess it made his life very difficult because I was walking with 90 kilos. So as you walk with Christ, he's going to help you to get rid of lots of stuff that are not needed and they are preventing you from going forward, from actually going upward. Draw near to God, says James chapter 4, 8 to 9, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners. You sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Says James to this church, there was a stubborn, a stubborn uh, church. People who were always preferring to find the, the, the first place, the place in the, the most important place. They were very egocentric, uh, egocentric um, and they needed to hear this exhortation, to humble themselves, to find their place in the ranks. That's what this means, apparently. Instead of wanting to be the captain, they wanted to be just a soldier. That was their position. It was a good one. To humiliate yourself. When you come to the feet at the feet of the cross, you understand that Jesus is dying there for you to crush our ego, to crush sin. So sin is a terrible thing, but there are other things that will prevent us from, uh, from walking with Jesus, like tradition. They might not be sin, but they will uh, prevent us from going upward. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22 says, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil uh, conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Jesus has given us the water that will cleanse us and will purify us and will be light to uh, to walk with him. God bless you.